The Xer X4 comes with several different flex options. You can choose to buy a kit with either a graphite chassis, an aluminium flex, or a solid aluminium chassis. These three options are suited for different conditions. So for example, the graphite kit is best suited for asphalt racing and very low grip carpet conditions. If you are planning to race on carpet mostly, especially in Europe, on low to medium grip carpet, we recommend the aluminium flex chassis for the reason that it's a bit stiffer than the graphite chassis. It's got a bit lower center of gravity so it will be more stable and more forgiving for carpet conditions and it will give you more corner speed as well. If you plan to race on really high grip tracks such as CRC black carpet which is uh, mostly seen in the US, we recommend the solid aluminium chassis. This is the stiffest option that we offer and as you can see it has no cutouts in the chassis and this makes it very rigid and very consistent and easy to drive for high grip conditions. Those are the three chassis options. So about chassis preparation. Depending on what type of chassis you've chosen for your kit, you may need to do some preparation of it. So for example, if you've gone for the graphite chassis, we're gonna have to add some glue to the carbon fiber. This is not necessary to do on the aluminum chassis plates, only for the carbon slash graphite chassis. So why do we have to do this? Because the graphite is a bit fragile and it can delaminate in case of a crash or from simple wear. Uh, for example, this part here at the rear of the chassis is um, extra susceptible to, to wear and to delamination because it's often touching the ground uh, under acceleration. So I always uh, glue at least this rear portion of the chassis. You can glue the entire chassis but that will stiffen up the chassis, it will take away some flex. So you need to keep that in mind and you need to decide if uh, you're willing to take away some flex for the sake of more durability. But personally I prefer to just glue the very rear of the chassis to prevent that from delaminating. And usually I also add a drop of glue in each countersunk hole for the front bumper. Again to prevent any damage in case of a crash. But before we add glue, I'm gonna sand the edges of the chassis. So for that I use a file. So why do we have to sand the edges of the chassis? To take away this sharp edge, which is normal on the carbon plate, and in case of uh, cornering, the chassis touches the ground, you will not, you will not have a sharp edge which will uh, upset the handling of the car or will damage the carpet or such. This is um, particularly important when you're racing on carpet, but also on asphalt, so I always sand the outer edges of the chassis before I prepare it with glue. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I add glue to the, the bits that I was talking about. So I'm gonna use a thin CA glue. And also I'm gonna use a glue kicker, an accelerator, which makes the glue um, dry quicker. With this, I can also control the flow of the glue so that it's a bit easier to handle. Okay, so let's start with um, the rear bit. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of activator on the surface area which I'm gonna glue. And then simply, I'm gonna add a bit of glue to this portion here. Make sure that you don't add too much glue so that it runs onto the main area of the chassis. You need to keep it in the in the rear section here, which we want to keep it only in the rear section. Okay, and when you're happy with that, you can just you can seal that with the activator again. 
So you just spray it with the activator to prevent it from to prevent it from running around the chassis. So that's done. We have glue around the rear edge of the chassis. If you feel that it's difficult to handle the, the glue, you can use a Q-tip or a cotton bud, as it's called in Europe. You can put glue on the cotton bud and you can just uh, smear it around the edge of the chassis. That way you prevent any um, accidents. And then we only have the front three holes for the bumper. Again, we're gonna spray activator there. And then I'm gonna drop a little bit of glue into each hole. Make sure that you just put a tiny amount, just enough to, to cover the, the countersunk hole. And then again, spray it with a kicker. And again, just very little, not too much, because if you add too much glue, the screw will not sit perfectly flat into the chassis. And that's it, we're done with the graphite chassis preparation.